Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> We arrived in Semarang late last night and didn't really get the chance to explore Semarang that much and that's exactly what we're going to do Hello. today. Hello. Hello! Starting off with Kampung uh, Pelangi Kalisari, a little bit of an alternative and colorful community here in Semarang. The rainbow bridge. <laughs> we read online that this Kampung is known for being like the rainbow Kampung and uh, just Starting off at the entrance of the Kampung, you can already see it's like the Rainbow Bridge from uh, Mario Super Brothers or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is beautiful. Let's have a look here over. There's actually a river here as well. And uh, look at the walls, for example. I'll show you guys. Beautiful and colorful rainbow village here. What a great place. What a great place to start off the day. Put ourselves in a good mood and uh, very excited to be exploring Semarang. Like we said in the last video though, when we first arrived in Semarang, wow, incredibly hot. It is the dry season, the peak of the dry season, as some of you guys let us know in the comments. So very dry, very hot and uh, pr a little bit tough to manage but uh, tiles whoa one. look at how beautiful this is it looks like uh, like porcelain nearly looks like I mean porcelain, it's blue, yeah. blue tiles white and blue tiles obviously but it's like it looks like Chinese like China porcelain yeah <laughs> even though you have windmills kind of Dutch <laughs> look at the floor everything is very vibrant and colorful here you sell coffee? Coffee. 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 The artwork here all around this kampong is spectacular. It's really amazing to look at. So creative. I cannot imagine what it's like to live here, like every day, waking up, walking around, seeing this beautiful place. I love it when you see like real human expression and creation, true art. And now we're currently on the hunt, I think, for a cup of coffee. Yeah, just straight. Um, we're gonna keep going straight. Straight, and then the next one to the left. I was just looking here because it looks like they have a homestay uh, in the kampong. It's called Kriya Sakura. Nice. And they have AC rooms. Interesting. Maybe next time. Beautiful place for sure to stay here. This would be amazing. But yeah. Oh, we're going straight this way. Okay, cool. Straight and then left. Yep. <laughs> See Yang. Get home. People around here. Um, Semarang particularly friendly people everybody actually that we've come across so far in Semarang has been exceptionally nice very helpful we've only been here now for one day this is our proper this is our first day actually exploring Semarang and uh, have a look at this guy yeah it's with the uh, tamarind Semarang I read online Semarang um, translates is two Javanese words and they translate into something like scarce tamarind, like little tamarind oh. or something like that. I think that's why they have the tamarind in the mural. Very interesting. Wow, these murals here are particularly interesting. It looks like almost like a bad trip or something like that. Like, look at these guys eyes here. Wow. <laughs> look at this. Oh, uh, it's kind of scary almost. I am her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Beautiful though. I love it. Javanese words asen and arang, which translates as scarce tamarind. Scarce tamarind, you were right. Good brain. Good memory. <laughs> wow. 
every single corner of this place is uh, something new to look at and I love these signs here as well very beautiful a mango tree no? I think it's a mango tree looks like a mango tree yeah there's oh, oh we have the call to prayer. prayer there you go So peaceful. Now guys, just a few minutes walking around and um, incredibly hot, absolutely sweating. So we made our way now, we found a place for a cup of coffee. We just asked uh, some of the locals here, a grab driver actually, and he directed us in here to grab ourselves a refreshing cup of coffee and um, after that we're going to be exploring I think for a while oh yeah <laughs> but uh, this place is fantastic I can't people oh uh, kapalapi yeah oh yeah uh, yeah makasi I didn't understand the last question she said uh, panas oh, hot okay has to be hot because uh, it's so hot outside that I feel like if we drink something cold our bodies are gonna try and heat up again and then it's gonna feel warmer so we're gonna drink something hot to cool down our bodies I know it doesn't sound like it makes sense but it does make sense trust me <laughs> this is uh, very interesting it seems to be like literally being served out she has basically a setup here at her home so that's uh, very special popular as well there are loads of grab drivers coming and uh, picking up orders yeah. and so on so I, I think it's a good place oh yeah for sure good coffee ah, it's delicious this is exactly what we need now to, to keep exploring oh photo oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> there was an escapist cat. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Little boy, the little boy just handed over a cat. A cat. <laughs> Feeling caffeinated, energized, ready to explore. <laughs> Hello. 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 How are you? Hi. Hello. Oh no. <laughs> Little kiss. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hey. How are you? You good? Hi. You gonna sell me a house? Hi. <laughs> oh, kid was he? Oh my god. Oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> Feeling very caffeinated and uh, ready to explore for sure. We absolutely love this place. Hold on a second, guys. It's pretty dark at the moment here. Walked into a bit of shade. Look at this. Everywhere around here. It's really, really beautiful. Hello. This place is absolutely fascinating. Came across a graveyard, sort of in the center. And even the graveyard itself is very colorful, feels very alive. Just have a look at here at the, uh, the view here. That's what we're kind of looking for at the moment. We're looking for a place to get a bit of a nice panorama view over this village because I'm sure it is very beautiful because of all of these vibrant colors and hard work. We love this place. This is only the first stop today, so it's going to be a long day of exploring Semarang. Oh. They're drying some sort of kedopuk, I think, maybe. Yeah. Ah, oh, it looks like it's made out of rice. Oh. On this mural, it looks like the men are wearing sort of the Turkish vests, no? The Turkish traditional vests. Not sure.
made our way to some what of a viewpoint and to get here we had to walk through this just have a look here behind me very very interesting a very large proportion of this particular kampung seems to be uh, grave sites there's a lot everywhere we've walked past now around three or four different graveyards very very interesting an interesting component to have in such a colorful and vibrant and lively city but have a look at this gorgeous view here looking over some part of Semarang I'm not too sure which but uh, beautiful very fun because we're sort of standing below what seems to be a very very large sign and I'm sort of imagining this to be like the the Hollywood sign of Semarang like yeah, the yeah. Semarang Hills or something. Semarang Hills <laughs> I don't know what it says because we're on the wrong side but <laughs> would be cool to know <laughs> Okay guys, so as of now we're making our way down from this beautiful, colourful, vibrant kampung and we're going to head towards Lawang Sewu, which is a very historical Dutch colonial place now I believe. It has some very interesting aspects to it, so cannot wait to check that out. And this village here, or this kampung, is definitely a must visit, so add it to your list if you are coming to Semarang. Make sure to bring enough water here as well because, wow, I'm sweating like crazy. How beautiful is this? Look at this guy. Wow, incredible. So we made it to Lawung Sawu. Now, Lawung Sawu in Japanese apparently means a thousand doors. And uh, it says that this house apparently has a thousand doors or at least a lot of them and it has a reputation of being haunted. Uh, it was built in the early, uh, like I think 1907 or something like that by the Dutch. So yeah, very, very interesting and we're going to try and find the entry and have a look around inside and see if it's actually haunted. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to Lawang Sewu. We just purchased our tickets, Wisman tickets which I believe is just foreigner ticket 30,000 rupiah to enter I think if you're a local it's 20,000 so it's only like a 10,000 rupiah difference which is totally fine and the view from outside here is absolutely spectacular very beautiful look at that I'm gonna see if there's a thousand doors in here hey I don't know if there's that many, but uh, we might try and count. Yeah, we're gonna try and count and let you know if it's actually a thousand. Let's see how <laughs> many doors we're seeing. Let's check this place out. By the way, this I think has the reputation of being haunted because some pretty bad things happened in this building in the basement and the uh, crimes were committed by the Dutch and the uh, Japanese, I believe. And uh, there's just an open door here that shows uh, an open view towards the basement and it's really scary just looking around it. I, I got goosebumps immediately, so I think it might actually be haunted. It's very dark. Looks like there's water down there. Maybe there's water? Creepy. And you can see Kebout. 1916 to 1918 so this part of the building was uh, erected in between 
stairs, the whole construction, the colour, everything. Very, very cool to see. We're head outside here. Okay, we're outside. What Beautiful. Really, yeah, what I really like about this place so far is that you don't really have a lot of, uh, what do you say, like hurdles, sort of chains that don't let you walk into rooms and so on. It, it sort of feels like you can explore freely and just move around whatever way you please. And uh, right now, we are pleased to announce that we are on the balcony. <laughs> Very nice. You can actually see how many doors there are. Yeah, I'm actually thinking that there is around a thousand doors here. It, uh, it's a lot bigger than I anticipated for sure. Some live music going on here as well. There's a guy down there with his guitar. Very beautiful place. Well, well, well. Worth. It's worth the money. Only 30,000 for foreigners to get in here, so it's fantastic. I think locals was 20,000 yep. and kids something like 10,000. So the price difference is not too crazy and uh, acceptable for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Having a good time? Having an amazing time. It's so hot. <laughs> Just trying to stop sweating right now. <laughs> Beautiful garden here. Have a look. This place is uh, very nice very unique something very special for you guys to check out here in Semarang it is one of the very first things that pops up on the list so when you search you know things to do in Semarang Lawang Sewu is gonna be typically one of the top five that will pop up and I can see why it's very nice We've got some souvenir stores here and uh, the guard oh there's a CF <laughs> there's a CFC inside Lawang Sewu there you go we are big big CFC fans ever since we tried it we tried it for the very first time in Jakarta and uh, we loved it ever since have a look at this this is just really cool we've got a bunch of different stuff on sale like coffee and snacks and CFC and a garden and there's live music couldn't really want anything else to be honest you can do photo shoots with costumes Oh, photo thousands per person. Nice. Well worth it. Amazing. Okay, so got ourselves ice jeruk. Some freshly squeezed ice jeruk. Nice and refreshing. Incredibly hot today, so. This is a very welcome uh, drink to have. And we're currently sitting and enjoying some live music here in the courtyard of the garden. And uh, it's cool, it's a nice atmosphere. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of locals around here enjoying Lawang Sewu. And uh, yeah, I can see why this place is pretty popular. Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to refresh right now, I'm really hot. Um, it's so, so beautiful here. But at the same time, I cannot wait for that sun to set so that we can maybe go on a Pasar Malam or something like that. And uh, the environment is going to cool down a little bit. I cannot wait for that part. But it's so, so nice here. Sitting in the shade, it's absolutely perfect. It's amazing. our way here to what seems to be sort of a church part or what looks to be like a church and uh, absolutely gorgeous stained glass here have a look it's actually very interesting because it seems like uh, this is the part that is the least visited it seems to be completely empty there's nobody we're like the only people here and uh, we found this gem can you believe it Beautiful. Nearly knocked me out of my socks when I was walking around the corner. <laughs> it's like, pow! Stained glass. So that was a look inside of Lawang Sewu and now we jumped in a grab and we made our way over to the old town of Semarang, the Kota Lama area of Semarang, to be more specific, I guess. And uh, seems to be pretty interesting. 
definitely a little bit different than a lot of the other parts of Semarang. So Semarang city in general, it seems to be very developed, very modern, super clean as well. And this old town part is very clean, very organized, but it's also a lot of older buildings, obviously. So you have this really cool looking building here, which is actually a ramen store <laughs> of all places. And uh, we're going to explore the old town of Semarang. It is still, as you can tell, blasting with sun. It's so incredibly hot. And uh, we're going to check this place out, spend maybe a while wandering the streets of old town Semarang. Let's go. We found ourselves a very cool looking cafe. Uh, it's called Hero Coffee. And they seem to be having uh, a lot of Indonesian, like typical Indonesian coffee. And uh, we're just gonna go in. Maybe we are gonna grab an iced coffee, an S coffee, and uh, pray that they have an AC. I don't think so, but let's pray. Semarang Old Town is really amazing. It literally feels like we stepped into Europe. Like it feels like we stepped back home to Europe. It's crazy. Let's go get some coffee. So this place is actually really cool. It's called Hero Coffee Indonesia, here in the heart of Kota Lama or the old town of Semarang. Very interesting. It's in like a very old school uh, Dutch style building. It almost feels like we're drinking coffee in Lawang Sewu, where we just were before we came here. It's a very, very nice and special place. All of the furniture is very unique, wood style. And how's the coffee tasting? Coffee is really, really good. It's not too strong, not too weak, just about on the perfect side of life if you want to say it like that and um, also they didn't add any sugar they just gave us a shot of sugar syrup for a second I wanted to I thought it was water I was like oh no wait a minute <laughs> it's sugar syrup but uh, the coffee is very nice happy days so very I think true. we're gonna use this to refresh ourselves and then we're gonna explore a little bit more of old town Semarang and just in case you guys are wondering why we're not trying a whole bunch of different food, Semarang is very popular for a lot of different types of cuisine. Uh, you gotta stay tuned for the video after this one. We're going to be exploring some of the night markets around Semarang in the video coming after this one. Those iced coffees were really lifesavers and uh, right now the sun is finally starting to set and it's a little bit of a golden hour going on here. And check out what we just found. We just found a really cool looking church. And uh, I believe this is, oh yeah, this is Kota, to the, uh, Kota Lama, the main street here in the old town. Uh, there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on. Now that it's getting darker, everybody is coming out to enjoy the evening and the temperatures are getting a little bit lower right now. This place is really fantastic. It really, I'm telling you guys, it sounds kind of weird, but it, it does feel like we just took a step back into somewhere in maybe Western Europe or something like that. Like, you could take a picture, for example, of this church or, or this place down here, and you could be like, oh, I'm just after being in Prague or somewhere like this. People would probably believe you, I'm not gonna lie. This place is incredibly well kept. It's organized, structured very well. It's also pretty clean too. So to be honest, Semarang, really positively surprised us in a very big way. It's a fantastic city.